Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and uh, here I'm presenting a sample problem for uh, INSP Talent Hunt. And uh, this problem was, uh, I'll suggest it will be on the mediocre side or uh, slightly on difficult side, but uh, not very difficult problem. And it is uh, within the J domain. Uh, however, I'll be using a method which is not so popular. And uh, here, yes, after uh, yesterday's video, a lot of uh, queries have come regarding the participation prize of INSP Talent Hunt. So I thought ki I'll give you a clear idea of uh, the same because many people were not able to believe whether it is, uh, it is really possible or not. So uh, guys, it will be a crypto asset worth $11, which you can redeem on the same day from the uh, sponsors uh, website or platform or you can stay invested in that all right so i thought ki, since many questions uh, uh, we received on this part so i thought i'll uh, clear this to you all right so here uh, is the problem which i shared in my community post also and uh, in uh, telegram groups as well so you can see here uh, a particle of mass m0 is moving under the influence of an attractive central force f about the origin in xy plane the magnitude of angular momentum of particle about origin is given by l naught and the attractive force is given by the expression vector f is equal to br cube minus r cap where r is the distance of particle from the origin the radius of the particles orbit changes from r naught to beta r naught then the value of r naught will be all right so here one thing which is uh, given to us, we don't know the nature of this uh, orbit, but we can say in uh, in general, in any planar motion, let's say when this particle is uh, at a distance of r from the origin, now in uh, general planar motion, uh, it will have one component along this r, we are calling it as uh, vr, which is radial velocity also. And another one is uh, v theta, normally in case of circular motion, this v theta is tangential. But in general planar motion, it can be in any other direction compared to the actual trajectory. Let's say this is the actual trajectory here. So one thing which is given to us is uh, this, that L0, is, angular momentum is constant. So I can write here M R V theta, M R V theta here. So L0 is conserved. So V theta is known to us. Similarly, the force vector is given to us. So we can write potential function for general R. So I can write here uh, as minus vector F dot dr. And uh, if I substitute the value dot product, if I take minus minus will become plus zero to R. I'm getting this potential function as a BR to the power four. Now here, uh, when I gave this problem, I made a mistake uh, slightly in writing solution and uh, uh, that's why I was getting a factor of four, but many students uh, gave the correct answer and uh, I'll tell you where exactly I made the mistake. So UR is uh, BR to the power four. When I write the total energy, I can write kinetic energy plus potential energy. All right. So kinetic energy, I can write half M speed square. So root of VR theta, VR square plus V theta square and square of that so root sign will go so this will become half m vr square plus v theta square plus ur now when i substitute this value of ur and uh, substitute this value of uh, v theta as well here on simplification i am getting this total energy as e is equal to half m v square plus l square by 2 m r square plus b r to the power 4 by 4 now this term this term you can convert this into one dimensional motion where we will write half m v square plus some function of r so it is like kinetic energy plus potential energy right so this general planar motion with respect to energy we can convert this into one dimensional and that is where we use uh, effective potential energy concept so i am calling this as uh, <coughs> whatever function of r will come other than this kinetic part so that is going to be effective potential energy now uh, we can analyze this uh, total energy function uh, like we do in uh, normal kinematics or uh, work power energy chapter using single or we can just treat this as effective potential energy and analyze it like uh, potential versus r graph 
all right so i am drawing this uh, graph of ur just general uh, concept i am taking here let's say any function is coming and if it is a stable uh, orbit i am assuming it is uh, uh, moving in a stable orbit so potential energy graph will have a shape like this by the way it is not parabola it can be any random graph it is just uh, for uh, example purpose so and it is given that radius changing uh, radius is changing from r not to beta r not right and uh, if uh, total energy is constant here and uh, here we can see if these are uh, the radius values here the total energy must be confined within these two here extreme and here extreme and from here i can say the maximum kinetic energy will be at the lower most point all right so it will be something like this so r not to beta r not it is going so from here i can say uh, effective potential energy it's r not and uh, effective potential energy at beta r not must be same all right because these are the extremes of uh, the radius or uh, the distance from the origin now when i substitute here so this is where i made mistake because i miss this uh, factor of 2 while solving and uh, thus i was getting factor of 4 but many students uh, have solved it correctly so when i use l square by 2 mr square and uh, b by 4 and similarly here instead of r beta r square i can substitute and here also beta r square i can substitute r to the power 4 i can substitute when i rearrange these terms lot of things are getting cancelled and i am getting r is equal to 2 l square by m b beta square 1 plus beta square to the power 1 by 6 this is going to be the final answer so congratulations to all the students who could uh, uh, give this correct answer and uh, yes this is like uh, it's very much possible that we can uh, get this type of question in j advance exam uh, because there are much more tougher problems you will see in uh, gravitation and it's a very handy tool especially wherever we are going to check the stability kite criteria also in problems we can use the concept of effective potential energy you will find few problems in rodov also and uh, the problems related to perturbation also will be uh, solved using effective potential energy all right so guys here uh, so there is an offer for subscription and uh, it is valid uh, valid for plus and iconic both and it is uh, going to last from 7th february to 9th so with 3 months you will have 1 month extension 6 month 1 month ex extension plus 2 uh, months cbsc 12 months where 6 months cbsc is free 18 months pe 9 months cbsc is free 24 months pe 4 months g extension and 12 months uh, class 11th uh, cbsc is free so guys uh, those who want to join me or connect with us through an academy they can uh, look for these offers you can use my code uh, nitin sir and this is another uh, thing an academy is launching its own test series all in a test series so this will be like this is uh, separate uh, from the plus test series plus test analysis class plus practice sessions and uh, yes these tests are uh, separately made and uh, some of my test papers also you will be seeing in this and it is for uh, je 2022 and uh, je 2023 so if you are uh, looking for 3 months or 6 months or 18 months it's uh, available at a very nominal uh, prices so you can use my code nitin sir if you are looking for these problems and an academy prodigy test is going on and next round of exam is on uh, 13th february around 4 lakhs plus students have uh, written this exam so far so you can uh, enroll for free and all india mock test series is going on for je advanced 2022 and mains 2022 so here also you can participate and uh, by the way this is uh, free of cost and every uh, sunday 2 to 5 pm uh, there will be a test so that's it guys i hope you have enjoyed and you have uh, enjoyed this problem of uh, sample problem of uh, talent hunt also Thank you. Thanks for watching it.